we were uh, attached to an infantry division, uh, interestingly in an infantry battalion, uh, on the night that uh, the whole battalion was taken POWs, but with that battalion were anti-tank uh, people, engineers, signals experts, and all the, what is loosely regarded as core troops. Uh, and um, uh, So your company was made up of? Our, our, my, uh, our company was made up of sections and the night that uh, we went in with the 2nd 28th Infantry we, Battalion, we were detached to them for that operation right. only, see? And uh, we had a Lieutenant, Ken Bradshaw, who's still alive, and 15 sappers, uh, and an NCO, a corporal and so on, and a sergeant. Uh, and uh, we went in to um, uh, that action attached to an infantry uh, battalion, but we weren't part of that battalion. And we were, were there to do it. special jobs. Our job that night was to lift the mines in the, um, in the minefield, to make a gap in them so that the infantry and where the infantry had to dig in because uh, uh, the previous battle at Ruin Ridge, they'd gone too far and they were cut off. And uh, uh, that was the uh, field and where the infantry had to dig in because uh, uh, the previous battle at Ruin Ridge, they'd gone too far and they were cut off. And uh, uh, that was, uh, like a lot of battles are, uh, completely uh, went wrong, uh, where the... Uh, this is at Ruin Edge. Ruin Ridge, yeah. Ruin Ridge. The, the third and last battle for Ruin Ridge with the 2nd 28th. We were to be uh, relieved in the morning by British tanks. Leading up to the point of capture, how... How long was the battle? I mean, how long were you in action for until that you got captured? That particular night? Yeah. We started at midnight uh, and uh, we dug in when we reached our objective with the Colonel at headquarters and the radio wasn't working because something went wrong and the reinforcements couldn't get up through the minefield. And uh, the Germans managed to close the minefield. And uh, that meant that no supplies got through to us. Uh, we didn't have any shells for the few anti-tank guns that had got through. And uh, he had no alternative but to surrender when the tanks came up, weren't ours. And uh, so it was a disaster, a complete disaster. But there were plenty of other disasters that mm. uh, were worse than that one. But for, for that battalion, it was an utter disaster.